Good day, learners. How are you? Previously, we discussed about the elements of poetry, but in here on, let's get to know figures of speech. When we say a figure of speech, this is a word or phrase using figurative language or language that has other meaning than its normal definition. Authors use figurative language to add interest and to evoke certain feelings in their readers. There are many different types of figurative language that authors may choose to use in their writing, but the most commonly used figures of speech are similes and metaphors. Let's get to know them. A simile is a figure of speech that uses the words like or as as to draw a comparison. Now, a simile is a figure of speech that compares two different things in an interesting way. And to compare two different things, you will use like or as. For example, Roberto was as white as a sheet after he walked out of the horror movie. Now in this example, we compare Roberto to the sheet and we use as the word as. And since it uses as, To compare Roberto to the sheet, then we can say that this is an example of simile. Since we are trying to draw a comparison between Roberto and a sheet, and we use the word as. So that's a simile. Another example, similes can be funny, serious, mean, or creative. Now let's try to have another example. Also, let me add this one. Similes are used in literature to make writing more vivid and powerful. Say, for example, they fought like cats and dogs. Notice in the example that we are we tried to com compare they, they to the cats and dogs. And we use the word like as we compare the two things different things. Therefore, this is an example of a simile. Now, when you are going to write a simile, always remember you compare two different things, but you will use the word like or as. Now, let's have metaphor. A metaphor is a figure of speech that makes a comparison between two unlike things. Almost the same as simile, but this time, you don't have to use the word like or as. Simply put, a metaphor is a figure of speech that makes a comparison between two unlike things. It's like comparing two things, two different things, but you know that there is something between them that resembles one another. Now, when you compare two things in metaphor, you don't have to use the words as or like on this one. Just directly compare those two things. For example, love is a battlefield. Notice that love and battlefield are two different things. But when you compare these two, you might wonder that they actually resembled one another. It could be that love is a battlefield because when you're in love, you have to fight for the one you love, just like how you fight in a battlefield. That's how metaphor works. Another example. Love is the laughter is the best medicine. Here we are comparing two diff unlike things. We're comparing laughter to the best medicine. With this example, metaphors are illustrations that make a strong point by comparing two things you wouldn't necessarily pair together. 
Okay, I would also like to add another two figures of speech in this lesson. Aside from simile and metaphor, we have personification. It is when you assign the qualities, human qualities, to something that isn't human or that isn't even alive. Meaning to say, if this is a thing, you are giving it a human quality. For example, that kitchen knife will take a bite out of your hand if you don't handle it safely. Mm. Well, notice how a knife, kitchen knife, is given a human qualities, which is take a bite out. That's personification. You are giving human qualities to something that is not human or that is not alive. Always remember that. And lastly, we have hyperboles. Hyperboles are not comparisons like similes and metaphors, but these are extravagant and even ridiculous overstatements, not, not meant to be taken literally. So, when we say hyperbole, it is a figure of speech that uses extreme exaggeration to make a point or show emphasis. For example, I have a million things to do. Well, it is impossible for a human like you to do a million things in a day. Therefore, this is this statement is being exaggerated and shouldn't be taken literally. This statement is just emphasizing that probably that person who's stating this statement is busy. So that's hyperbole. So, there you go. Those four figures of speech are commonly used in writing and even in conversation. I hope you learned something from me today. This is your teacher, Teacher Jai. Thank you and see you again.